Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today I am giving away this 1897 handwritten, beautiful handwritten letter um, from Kinderbrook, New York. Anybody is from Kinderbrook or Kinderlook? Kinderhook, New York? Okay, maybe this would be a cool find. Um, anyway, very interesting uh, piece of ephemera from days gone by, and we will do a contest for that a little later. The way you uh, enter the contest is by the week before you have posted a comment in a junk journal craft chat and then this week's winner is pulled from last week's comment. So if you want to be entered into next week's um, video just put a comment in this video and we will draw it from next week. Okay, so um, what we're going to do today is answer some crafty questions and also um, make some paper clips, alter paper clips because again I need more um, a little bit different way. Sorry for the weird camera angle, but my, my desk arm, I think, has had enough of me and it's uh, tired from the weight of my phone, so I thought I would just record it this way, this way I can use two hands. Um, so anyway, I have this piece of file folder I thought I would turn into a bunch of altered paper clips. It's kind of fun. This would be a good way to do it, I think. So I just let me square it off here. And we'll just get some bases. And I, it's a very simplistic idea, but I think it's going to be kind of fun. So a little different than what we've done. Whoop, that wasn't very straight at all. Try that again. Okay, you gotta you gotta follow the ruler. Pam, I can't really see that. Okay. I have these single sheets, so I'm just going to cut a bunch of these up. Nope, oh, not in it at all. There we go. Completely different angle here. Sorry about that. Um We'll be ordering a new desk arm tonight and see how long good old Amazon takes to get it to me. Hopefully not too long. And it's at the very bottom of my Paper Outpost Amazon page. Uh, it clamps onto the side of my desk, holding my phone up. But one of... Oops, I did it again. Oops, she did it again. Okay, um, that's good enough. Okay, so let's just make some quick bases. I guess there's some... Just that. A weird paper we don't really need on there. And we're going to need some paper clips. Put the small thing on the inside. Get some glue of choice. I'm going to use uh, Fabrifix glue. Yeah, I put it in a Sugar Bells icing piping bottle for easier application purposes. All right. And we'll make three of these up. Oh, nice bases. The uh, paper clip on that side. And let's see, where did we get that other one? Oh yeah, these. This one had the fold on it. So I'm going to cut a few of these up. Oh, gotta remember, i got to put you where you can see me. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Get my through. Close enough. Yep, that's good. All right. Well, this paper clip might be too big. Is it? No, nope, it's okay. We are good to go. All right, one. And hope you're all doing well. Everything's dandy over here. Um, I'm putting the small loop on the inside. So I have the bigger loop on the outside just so I can grab more, more stuff. That's two, three, so one I think I'll do this way. And a little glue in here. All right, there we go. All right, so hope everybody's doing dandy. I'll put a small one in here just for variety because I had it quickly and easily at the ready, so I just grabbed it. And I guess that's a good number to start with. I gotta remember to stay focused up here. Okay, 
So what I thought I would do is I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut out some small squares. Oh, can't see anything. Let's see if I can get this to stay. See, it does that. That's the problem of the hour. Yep, that's it in a nutshell. All right, so let's get some squares rocking and rolling here. Okay. We'll just do maybe two rows. Okay. Now, I'm just going to cut these. I think I can use... Well, we should probably use the ruler. Use the ruler, Pam. Um, yeah, I think that's good. About a little over an inch. Little inches. Oh, can't see. Okay, come here. There we go. And there we go. All right, we got those for variety. Okay, I think that one will fit on there nicely. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put these up here. Nice and spread out. There we go. And then I'm just going to come along with some rubber stamps. And just do some... Rubber stamping with black soot. There we go. Uh, some mushrooms. Okay. And what have I got? I got a bunch of rubber stamps here. Pretty flowers. Should probably do this on something. This foam stuff is good to do it on. If you get that in packaging, that's really handy. You can always use like that foam board stuff, the soft stuff. Okay, that's good. Oh, here's a cute little bird. Birdie bird. Put you on here. Put you on the foam. And we've got a couple more. And we're going to be answering some of your crafty questions today. See what y'all are thinking about. I think I can put these four all on here at the same time. I think it would be okay if I gave them the same stamp. Because I could use them in different journals and things like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oops. And one more. And there we go. Okay. All right. So let's see what you guys are thinking about. Wanda Mercado asks, that's beautiful, referring to the Antique Guardian Angel prayer book. Uh, are you willing to depart with it? If so, I'm willing to buy it. Not right at this moment, but if I do, I will let you know, Wanda. Um, is it just me, or is the felt tactile equivalent of fingernails down a chalkboard? J-M-S-L. Not a big fan of felt. Apparently, I did a felt journal cover. Quick, easy way to make a junk journal for gifts. Um, I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me, but it, and maybe it bothers some folks. That's possible. And, um, yeah, you got to find out what you like. I'm going to just stick these on here, and I'm going to pretty much call them done. I think they're going to be really pretty. So this is a super easy way to make altered paper clips. Where's the clip? Okay, that's all right. It comes from the side because I can put the clip on the side. So that's a good way to do it. Yep, very simple, very easy, very functional. Um, so if you just want to sit down and make a bunch of these, you can totally do that. And it's a fun way to do a little creative project. Not a huge commitment in a day, but you get some really nice things created at the end of the day, which is always a good thing. Maybe we'll put this one on here. It's a big one. And these can be any shape or size. Hmm. 
Um, okay. All right, there we go. Where did the, all, all the done ones go? I have no idea. Where are you? Where are you? Put one there. Okay. All right, here we go. I'll turn that off. Scissors. Okay, here we go. There we go. Two. I know I made other. Oh, here they are. There we go. We made these. We made these five. Aren't they cute? They're just so cute and so easy to put on junk journal pages for multitudes of reasons. Okay, so let's uh, say, uh, Dana Boswell says, I bought a bottle of Nouveau Drops. Or kind of, oh, I think we answered this. Uh, okay. Okay, now we're... Uh, um... Deborah Bradford says, good, if, good afternoon, Pam and Sunben. How's everyone doing? Getting my packages ready to go out? Yay, today. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it's fun to start getting things rolling. Vintage Viking Lady says, are you a graphic artist as well as an MD? Um, I am a, actually, I'm a DO. I'm Dr. Bastiapathy Family Practice. I'm not really a graphic artist, but I do like to play with graphic art, so I wouldn't qualify myself as a graphic artist, but it's really fun for me to play with that stuff. So I do enjoy it. I'm slowly learning. Um, Dr. McManus says, lovely on a side note, strange question for anybody who has used tea or coffee to stain pages. Does the paper smell like a cup of Joe? I'd like to try it, but just wondering. Also, does anybody have a better way to dry them besides using the oven? Because frankly, paper in the oven just scares me. No problem. I would just stick to air drying then, and you can just lay them out. Maybe put some shower curtain down or towels or something like that. Lay them out, and um, they'll dry very quickly. And um, you just, it takes, well, it takes a little bit longer than oven drying, but it certainly can be done the old air drying way. You can also um, tie strings from one thing to another in your house and then use uh, clothespins and hang up a bunch of things. Um, lots of different ways to do it. So there you go. A few ideas for you. Um, where are we at? Okay. So um, let's answer actually a couple more questions. Pam. It's cold and rainy here on the Pacific Coast. Those butterfly digits are just what I'm looking for. What printer do you use? Right now, I am using an Epson EcoTank 2760. It's an older model. Um, you can buy refurbished ones. Um, I've had good luck with them. Um, you can buy them refurbished from Epson or just online on Amazon and eBay, I think they sell them. Um, they're pretty reliable printers. I got that idea from um my facebook group and the paper outpost facebook group and everybody was asking who's what printer do you use and a lot of people said the epson eco tank printers were very good and um i've never looked back honestly they're very reasonable with the ink and for an inkjet printer i think they produce very good quality images so that's my thoughts on that okay so let's see um i guess we can make a few more of these we have a few more um, and then we're going to do the contest. Um, what would you, two more of these. All right, I have some strange paper here on the inside. Hmm. Okay, here we go. All right. There we go. And I think I need to trim this up a bit because guess who didn't cut straight? Me. All right, there we are. And there. Okay, so do we have any of these left? Yes, we do. Um, I've got the mushroom one. Maybe I'll put the mushroom one on one of them. So the nice thing about using a tool like a rubber stamp is something that you can reuse over and over and over again, which is kind of cool. Oh, horrible measuring here. 
when you really don't measure for a living. Disaster pants. Okay, there we go. And here. And we got one more here. I'll just use up this one since it's here. Oh, got everything stuck to my glue. Okay. Yep, messy craft room. Messy crafter. There, I can hide no secrets from you all. You know everything. <laughs> it's all on video. Um, okay, Sunny's doing well. Thank you very much. Yes, he's awesome. Um, we're just hanging out here, doing our thing. Mm hmm Okay. All right, there we go. Ha! Huh. Okay, so we have made some really cool, adorable, cute little um, altered paper clips. Um, hope you like these. They're very simple. Anybody can make these. These are, I can't see anything I know. Um, come on, thingy. Work. Okay, there we go. So I will go ahead and order that so we can get that fixed. I'm going to go ahead and now bring my computer down here so we can put, pick the winner. Whoops, sorry. Of the paper outpost when okay we are going to call this where did i put the letter where's the letter oh goodness oh here it is okay hmm? then we're going to call this the kinder hook letter from 1897 okay gonna hang it up on my wall here and we are now going to pick the winner. Here we go. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be you? 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 <gasps> Aaron Tube 360. Guess who it is? Well, there you go. Um, congratulations. Um, you have won the Crafty Ephemera Contest. So just go ahead and let me know that you won on today's date, which is uh, December 8th, and that you won the Kinder Hook letter. And I will mail that off to you. Okay. So we have a few words from our boy sunshine who has something to say uh, oh yes oh what what was that a weird noise you just made no he's okay that was just mother freaking out for no reason okay here we go and <clears throat> a little close mom okay i'll try and back it up a little bit it's, it's, the thing's not working right work with me son hello everybody it's sunshine um um i'm i'm leaving <laughs> okay fine can we try that again Let's just try it again. We tried to up. Okay, good to up. All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Oh, my voice just went deep. Hello, everybody. Where's my voice? I don't know where it is. Okay. Canine reporter Sunshine. Oh, we're doing angle ears. We're doing one high, one low today. Okay, whatever, Mom. Um, so anyway, um, somebody asked for an update on Sonny's friends, Baxter, and next door neighbor dog, Ronnie. Okay, I can tell you, Baxter has been over for visits. Okay, hang on. We're doing strange things here. We, we can't, we can't do that. Okay, no, no. Just tell me that it's in the way. Okay, that's better. Okay. <laughs> All right, are we organized? Yes, we're totally organized. We're we're looking at something out the window. Hello, world over there. I'm so just sunshine. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? Hello. Hello, everybody. Sunshine back here. Sorry. Got a little distracted. And I seem to be quite large, Mother. Can we make that much better? Much better. Okay, so I would say that Baxter is doing very well, and he comes to visit periodically, and we really like his visits. You can come over as often as you want, Baxter. We love and adore you and your mom. Yes, we do. Um, okay, so next door neighbor dog Ronnie doing very well. We hear him barking. That means he's doing very well. He goes out for walks periodically. Seems to be doing very well. And that's pretty much it with Ronnie. Um, so not much else to report. It's been pretty quiet. Papers are quiet. There's a little rustling, but not much. Not too bad. And uh, mom's doing dandy. So take care, everyone. Happy crafting, and I'll talk to you next time. Sunshine, oh. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sunshine. Oh, he's so official, so official. Okay, so we, we definitely do hope to have this ridiculous um, situation here fixed with this desk arm. It's like driving me bonkers. So I'm going to go ahead and 
order that. So take care, everybody, as I disappear, as my... See, it's like disappearing slowly at the bottom. Um, if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter that comes out um, monthly. Uh, if you sign up for that, the link is down below in the description box. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas, how to break a blank page. And um, you get junk journal tips, updates from me, and all sorts of other interesting, strange things that occur on the newsletter. Okay. And um, what else? I am going to be... Uh, oh, I have my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, new audio material. And then I have uh, video podcasts which come out um, uh, every day of the week. You can check those out on Spotify. And uh, I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find journals and bundles and kits when they're available. I sell printables there as well as packets of interesting old papers called Fundles, 100 plus pieces, free priority shipping with that. I also have a print and mail service. If you don't want to print the uh, digi kits, I can print them out for you in packs of 10. You just need to supply me with the names of the 10 digi kits that you want. I only need the first th two or three words. You can Etsy message the list or send it to my email address, pam at thepaperoutpost.com, and then just buy the print and mail option. That's all you need to do. Okay, so I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the Paper Outpost, I do try to put links to things uh, in there that is an affiliate link. It helps my shop, but you don't pay more for using my link. So thanks very much for your support. And I also have a merchandise shop. If you're looking for uh, gift ideas, I sell um, t-shirts, sweatshirts, zip hoodies, mugs, totes, and water bottles with the phrase create with reckless abandon in them, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Okay. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. And remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.